Hello, how is everybody? I hope you're all doing well. I myself am just uh, chilling right now. I've spent most of my day off actually trying to read up on the basic D&D PDF. It's the first full day I had sort of on my own to sit down and digest it. And uh, I'm enjoying it. I think it's pretty cool. I like some of the changes they've made. The spell casting is interesting again. Um, fourth edition spellcasting wasn't quite as... I don't know. It, it didn't have as many choices involved in your day-to-day -day casting. It didn't feel quite as wizardy and more... Well, it's going to sound as a negative, but more video gamey, I guess. It's, it's not as solid, but um, that said... Um, you know, it's still fun, it's just a different feel to it. Uh, whereas this new edition feels very much like the D&D I used to know, uh, in that you have to be tactical about picking your spells, and that's pretty cool. Uh, the edition is very sparse. Uh, the the basic rules are very sparse. Um, the, the ra there are only four classes. Um... And, uh, let's see, Elf, Dwarf, Human, Halfling, Four Races. Um, and, you know, it's, and, and it's supposed to be sparse. It's supposed to be, this is the absolute minimum you need to play. Um, it's, uh, uh, it's interesting to read some of this stuff. I had heard about some of it in Playtest. But I really didn't pay as much attention in the playtest as I probably should have. I read some of the early stuff, and then as the packets kept coming out, and I wasn't in a situation where I was going to be able to game with them, I, I stopped reading them. Uh, so, uh, my bad on that. Now, my friend Brandis Stoddard over at the Harbinger of Doom blogspot.com. It's harbinger-of-doom.blogspot.com. He's a friend of mine. I've known him for almost 20 years, I guess. And uh, he and I used to work together at Icarus. Uh, he's a really good person for taking about uh, taking apart a game and sort of seeing how it works and so on. He did a really nice breakdown of the, uh, the classes and the races. And specifically, he, he's, he's kept track of all the changes in the playtests. So he talks about how they are different from the playtest packets, uh, as well as you know some of the interesting concepts that are behind them and, and the new ways that it's handling things. I love uh, the way they're handling the spellcasting. It took me a second to realize what they were talking about, though. Um, so you can pick out a certain number of spells based off of your uh, level and your attribute bonus as prepared. And then you have so many spells that you can cast a day, um, and you can cast as many I any of these spells that you have prepared within the slot that you have available. So if you have prepared one uh, you know, first level spell, but you've got three uh, first level slots, they're all going to be that first level spell. What's more, you can actually change that up so that all the ones that you uh, put up to second level slots, if you need that first level spell again, you can use your second level slots to cast them. But you can't do it the other way around. You can't go, okay... I need a second level spell, but I get a first level slot. You can't do that. But it, it does mean that you're being very tactical about how you're picking what spells you're, uh, you're memorizing for the day. But it also means that you can be flexible in deciding which of those prepared spells you're casting in a given combat. And I think that's really cool. I think that's a neat idea. Uh, both the clerics and the wizards work that way, and I'm super happy about it. Um, there are a bunch of just little things. The rules are simple. They're, um, sort of 
easy to understand, not a lot of complexity there. Uh, you do make some choices, and the choices are meaningful, but it isn't the, uh, the, the, the actual, absolutely buried in choices thing that you had in 4th edition and 3rd edition to a certain extent as well. Uh, so, yeah, it, I, I'm liking it. I look forward to getting uh, the rest of the rule books to see how far they go with it. Uh, they list some examples in the, pa the, the basic book that they don't uh, that they don't actually or the basic PDF that uh, that don't actually involve races that are in the PDF so there's talk of a gnome or something like that um, so uh, or drow or things like that so you, you obviously they're gonna include a lot more in the player's handbook as far as what classes are available and what races are available and things like that but this is a picture of how they're structuring them it gives you the basic primer on how the rules work and I'm liking it I think it's pretty cool um, so that's what I've been doing a lot of today I've also started uh, watching a new set of tutorials on unity I've updated my uh, uh, Unity install, and I'm going to start doing some stuff with that. Somebody asked me to bone up on it some more, so I'm boning up on it some more. Um, and uh, still doing the Duolingo thing, still doing the language lessons, so that's fun. Um, and, you know, just trying to have a, a good time. Uh, I'm trying to relax on my day off. I don't get them together all that often, unfortunately. So that's, that's neither there. I couldn't quite land anybody to game with. So here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking I will do a uh, online game, like a D20 tabletop thing. Uh, and I'm willing to entertain notions of what I should do. I'm thinking, I'm leaning towards uh, uh, doing the starter set, because I've got that coming, doing that uh, on, uh, 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 in an online game, that might be a good idea. Hmm. Um, uh, oh, I, 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 uh, I think that'll be a, an interesting way to use my time and get back into some at least tabletop style gaming um, you know I, I'm entertaining some other notions uh, Lords and Go Lords of Gossamers and Shadow is going to be uh, a good choice as well no dice so it's pretty easy to do I don't know I've got a friend who wants to still wants to do the Fate Amber game but uh, we're having a hard time meshing schedules largely due to my schedule being wacky uh... and i played some wild uh, star today and i had a lot of fun doing that actually uh, wild star is still a really good game and i actually let the the subscription roll over for an, for another month i'll keep going at it for another month or two until i can there's a possibility my schedule might clear up a little bit, so I might be able to have a little more regular gaming time, and that that would make for easier, you know, running around with my friends. So there's that. Um, I'm up for a web design job, so cross fingers and all that. Today is a bit updatey, I guess, uh, and um, and a bit extra rambly. Not sure why. I think partly because I'm tired. I'm exhausted. I I really, and I have no good reason for being as as tired as I am. But I am that tired. So anyway, uh, uh to review, I'm excited about the new uh, uh, fifth edition basic rules. I looked them over. They're looking really cool. I'm almost done reading them. Uh, but I, what I've seen has been pretty solid. If you want to read more about them, you should go check out my friend Brandis's blog. I will include a link in the show notes. And uh, he's going to do a far better job of breaking it apart than I will. Um, and, uh, you know, other than that, 
life goes on. Uh, I have projects, I have things I'm working on. Huh. Oh well, I've been doing this for a couple of months of a video every day. That's kind of wacky, isn't it? I, I'm not sure what I'm going to uh, do when I reach my 100th episode, but it's not that far off, so maybe I should start thinking about that. Anyway, uh, oh, and I should add, yesterday's uh, all suggestion uh, episode was fun. So I may do that like once a week, uh, you know, go on uh, Google Plus and I'll ask the community what should I talk about once a week and uh, see if, you know, people come up with cool stuff for me to talk about. Uh, that's my that's my update for today, my extra rambly update. And uh, I apologize for being all sort of extra rambly. No, I don't. Well, the show's called Late Night, Late Night Ramble. That pretty much says it all, doesn't it? Hmm. Oh, well. Y'all have a good night. Good week. Uh, have some fun gaming. Uh, get drunk. Or don't. Um, yeah, don't. You probably, probably shouldn't get drunk. I probably shouldn't get drunk. Um... And, you know, subscribe, like, and all the, the usual stuff. I promise I will be much more high energy tomorrow and have more interesting things to say. But uh, till then, I'll talk to you later.